Attorney Felicia Day here. Welcome to my channel. It's 2015. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Is it special? Is there something? Oh, it's Back of the Future. They have the thing. It's going to be all year. It's going to, it's already old. Speaking of old, 2014, right? <laughs> so last week. I meant to do this video last week, but I had my book draft due. FeliciaDayBook.com. This video is my top five, five things. Does that make sense? Of 2014. Uh, movies, TV, comic books, books, and games. Some of these things might not have been brand new in 2014, but I found them. So I'm not gonna justify myself. I'm just gonna make the video, okay? Let's go. Number one, movies. And number one of movies is, <laughs> well, Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know why I would have, even have to talk about this. Obviously, most humans saw it, and rightly so. Uh, my favorite things about it were the colors were amazing, the practical effects were fantastic, it really made you feel like you were there, uh, they had amazing characters and actors who played those characters, the sense of humor was great, and it was really fun to go to a movie and feel like, oh yeah, this is worth popcorn. You know what I'm saying? Like, most of the sort of genre picks are like, so, ooh, you know, you, you're supposed to be eating foie gras or something, they're just real gritty, and sometimes that's good, but sometimes you just wanna have some fun. Girls just wanna have fun. Guys, anybody, aliens, whatever. That's what I liked about that movie. Number two, along that same vein, Edge of Tomorrow. Now, I didn't see this movie because I was real skeptical and I don't think they marketed it very well because it just looked like one of those oh, grimy grimster sci-fi post-apocalyptic. No, no, this I would say is the best example of a video game turned into a movie. The script was fantastic. I have no idea how you'd write that script without being boring and, and, if it, and, and just, I don't know. And Tom Cruise was good? I mean, I don't mean to be a dick about it. It's just like, it's been a while since you really had fun in a Tom Cruise movie. Usually he's very, you know, that thing. He does that thing, which is bold. And I'll touch his muscles if I could, but fun popcorn movie. And just amazingly done. Like all the special effects and Emily Blunt. Oh man, amazing. Okay. Number three, uh, changing uh, gears a little bit. I guess I've, I've been seeing a lot of the Oscar nomination movies and the two that stood out to me were Whiplash and Mr. Turner. Now these are very two different movies. If you're a musician or you like music or just wanna see some amazing acting, Whiplash is definitely my favorite film of the year. It's about a drum, a drum student who you know desperately wants to be a great jazz drummer and this crazy professor who, um, I don't want to spoil it, but it's a, it's a character piece, but also if you, as a musician, somebody who went to music school, uh, I, I recognize a lot of things. I thought there was a real authenticity there and amazing performances, especially from the actor who isn't necessarily a professional drummer, but you, you believe it every step of the way. I'm not a drummer, so I can't be as critical. Mm, he didn't exactly, mm, you know. I, another one that I love that I don't know if everybody's gonna love it. It is definitely a slower paced movie, is Mr. Turner. I love Turner's art. I have been to London several times and every single time I go to a gallery and see a lot of them in person. They're, and the movie really epitomizes the style of art. There's this sort of, um, sort of turmoil underneath it, uh, the beauty of it. There's always a danger underneath all his landscapes, just a touch of it. And they did an amazing job of sort of expressing the feeling of Turner's art in a movie, as well as examining a character who's not likable at all. Also, every costume is amazing, every character actor is amazing, just like a, a Mike Lee movie. I'm a huge fan of his work anyway, and this, this was just beautifully shot. It was like a painting every scene. So if you're in the mood for something a little bit more, you know, long and intellectual and slow and not traditionally formatted, I would highly, highly re recommend this. Last of my five is a very surprising movie to me. It was Song of the Sea. Now this is not, I believe, available in the States yet. I saw it on a screener for the awards. Um, and it's one of the most beautiful animated movies I've ever seen. My favorite animated movies are like, I love The Incredibles. I also love The Iron Giant. I love, um, uh, Totoro and all, you know, of course, all the uh, Studio uh, Ghibli movies. Did I say that right? Probably not. Anyway, um, and uh, this mo movie is absolute art. It's good for anybody of any age. I was weeping and I was like enthralled and every frame is just so beautiful. It's the most beautiful fairy tale ever translated to film. So there you go. Those are my top five movies. Should I split this into different videos? 
probably to be smart. Okay, maybe. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Boom.